All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any problem from your side. I have my fan on. I hope uh, it's not uh, causing problem. If I turn it off, I will be uh, cooked barbecue. <laughs> uh, but today we have different barbecue. We have this genius who is the best liar right now exists in the state. And, uh, you know, I mean, the Muslims, they think, they are still living in the era where nobody knows about Islam no more. Likewise, like in the year 2000, when I was struggling to explain the garbage of Muhammad. They think they are still alive in that era where Americans do not know. So they think whatever they say, people they take and they accept and they believe and that's it. That's it. So look at the title, Islamic Hygiene and Modern Science. Is that true? Yes, brother. It's true. Yes, sir. When people, when they look at the words Islam and modern science, they may be thinking, you know, what is the connection? And why are we having this show, especially in these times in the age of coronavirus? Exactly. I mean, people, they will be wondering, like, what the connection, brother? But uh, Dr. Sabil is going to explain to you the connection. There's a lot of correction there. Okay, tell us about the connection. But in fact, inshallah, in this half an hour inshallah. show, mm -hmm. you'll be amazed to find out. I'm amazed already. I'm, uh, are you kidding me? That not only there is a connection, yeah. but I would say that uh, our modern science is catching up to the Islamic hygiene, eesh, is catching eesh. up to the Islamic etiquettes, Islamic solutions, preventive. Stop. 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 Islamic etiquette, it you what? Etiquette. Oh, I don't know what I will talk about Islamic etiquette. I have a lot of Islamic etiquette here in front of me. I mean, your Quran is full of it. Your Hadith is full of it. So I mean, Islamic etiquette. Okay, what? Uh, tell us about the Islamic etiquette. Go ahead measures and recommendations mm -hmm. so for all, any of all of these reasons that's mm -hmm. the reason we are doing uh, today's uh, show mm -hmm. which is uh, islam and modern science right inshallah. Mm -hmm. inshallah and especially now with what's going on you know uh many of us are at home because of you know covid 19 the uh -huh. coronavirus mm -hmm. and let's take a look at what our faith has to say about hygiene exactly. and how it kind of you know compares with exactly. modern science and mm -hmm. what we are hearing currently from the cdc you know when it comes to islam Islam gives a comprehensive way of life wow. and solutions to humanity. Uh, he has exactly. You marry four wives. You do not need to cheat, brother. You marry four wives, and you can have in the top of them as many four as you want. And if they disobey you, you beat them. That's first the humanity. You know, I mean, the first aid is beating your wife, and then you beat your children, and then you beat yourself to remember what happened to Al Hassan Al Hussein, and then we do muta and have sex every day with the new women and get AIDS. And this is the hygiene. Okay, continue. Given us guidance of who is the creator, what is the purpose of life? What is the what will happen? What is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of life? According to the Quran, Allah said, the purpose of life, he created a human being and genie, which does not exist. I mean, what a genie. Many Christians, they think genie is a demon because they are ignorant. Uh, even those who claim to be priests. Genie is not a demon. Muslims don't believe in demon. Genie is a creature who can even have sex with Muslim women. He is made from fire and he is shaitan. So he is not a demon. Uh, uh, the Quran says the purpose of life. Let us switch to Arabic. Hold on. Sometime my keyboard is a stubborn. He don't switch. Hmm. Finally switch. All right. So why Allah created? The, what is the purpose of life? This is, can be found in, 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 in the Quran, in chapter 51, verse number 56. It says, Allah, he did not create a human being and genie except to worship Allah alone. So whatever this guy, this fraud, he say is a lie. This is the only purpose for Allah. No other purpose. Purpose of life, Allah is bored. He is a lonely God. He decided to create somebody to worship him alone. Nothing else, not like the God of the Christians, for God, he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. No. Allah is lonely. 
and it's boring. So he decided to create uh, people and, uh, you know, uh, decide uh, you worship me. And not only that, Muhammad, he said in the hadith that if you are not to commit sin, Allah will destroy you and will bring people better than you who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So committing sin is for the benefit of Allah. If you don't commit sin, this is the purpose of life. Allah, he wants people to, to be to be exist real, real carefully. This is Muhammad speaking. By him, in whose hand is my love? This is serious. Muhammad is swearing. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of the existence and he would replace you by those people who would commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So the whole point is of the existence in Islam for a human being. <laughs> You commit sin and please, Allah, Allah forgive me, Allah, Allah, forgive me, please forgive me. And Allah said in his chair like, yeah, 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 you know, big more, big more. <laughs> what a garbage cult. Tell us more, Sabir. Sabiro, tell us more about the purpose of life in Islam. Go ahead. In the hereafter, how can we go to paradise? How we can today go to we will just, you know, focus on the Islamic hygiene uh -huh. and the concept of the physical purity. Mm. You know, first and foremost, it says in the Quran, chapter number 9, verse mm. number 108, mm. that Allah loves those who purify themselves. Wonderful. Allah loves those who purify themselves. And how Allah, he purify, how the Muslims, they purify themselves by killing the Christian. Chapter 9, the same chapter. Chapter 9, verse number 29 says that Allah, he sent Muslims to do jihad and kill every single Christian and every single Jew. Either they convert to Islam or they die. And the Muslim who die purify themselves by the blood of the Christians. Do you see how those scammers, they, you know, they, they fool you? This is a chapter 9. This is one of the most ugliest chapters in the Quran. Teaching literally about exterminating the Christians as if they are rats or cats from this earth. And if you want to live as a Christian or a Jew, you have to pay them because Islam is nothing but a gang. But why you don't go now and tell us about the hygiene? The hygiene, I want to see the hygiene. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in one of his famous narrations, he said, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, you remember this from Sunday school? Do you remember it, Sunday school? Sunday school? They teach you this in Sunday school? Uh, neither you remember it from Sunday school? Uh, Sunday school. The cleaning is half of the faith. First of all, first of all, that's a lie. That's a lie. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying Muhammad is lying. I'm saying this, this is a lie. Because the cleaning have nothing to do with faith. There is people who they are prostitutes, who they don't only clean themselves, they take a shower with perfume. What does it have to do with faith? There is atheists who they are very clean. What does it have to do with, with, with faith? And there is people who they are homeless, but they believe in God more than all of us. And they did not take a shower for a year. And actually the Messiah, he said, it's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty, it's what come out from your mouth. And this is very logical. So your prophet is saying something, nothing to do with the truth. Faith and being clean have nothing to do with each other. However, we will go with this lie. Was Muhammad a clean? Let us see if he was a clean. Yes, I do remember. Yeah. I do remember. Me too. Mm -hmm. Cleanliness is half of the faith. So if you are a clean, it's half of the faith. So if you don't, if you are not a clean, that's mean we strip you from your faith. Fair? Is that correct, guys? He, he is the one who said that. If you are not a clean, that's mean half of your faith is gone. That's horrible. Because Muhammad not only wasn't a clean, Muhammad was extremely filthy. I will play a little bit, and then we will show our reference so everybody will laugh at this madness and the, and the lies they say. Wow, cleanliness is half of the faith. So wow. that's how much adamant Islam is exactly. uh, about mm -hmm. keeping ourselves clean. Mm -hmm. But cleanliness itself is attached to paradise. Mm -hmm. There is a saying of Muhammad, peace be upon him, that the key to paradise is prayer and the key to prayer is purification. Okay, here we stop. I mean, that's it. 
So how the Prophet of Allah, he do purification? Remember, the key to paradise is a, a prayer. And the key of, of the prayer is a purification. So you cannot go to paradise unless you are pure. And he is trying to tell us that here, the word pure is about physically pure. Hygiene, remember, the whole topic is about what is hygiene. So how the Prophet, he used to clean himself, uh, uh, Dr. Sabil uh, 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 Ahmed. If I ask you this question, mm. that what is the number one recommendation Center for Disease Control has for individuals? What, what? What would you say? What would you say? It is to wash your hands. Wash your hands. Hand washing, according to CDC, is the single most important means of preventing the spread of infection. Oh, bad. I mean, this is bad. I mean, here you are getting, you are get, you are, you are getting my nerve. So this is the way to prevent. Was Muhammad washing hands, brother? Muhammad was not washing hands. Let us see some hadith. As long, I, actually, I wasn't uh, uh, expecting him to. Talk. I did not watch the whole video. I just saw, saw some of it. I like I, I move it around. But as long he mentioned this, okay. Let us see if Muhammad used to wash his hands. All right, all right. Muhammad used to wash his hands. Are you sure, brother? Are you sure, brother? Okay. The messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, took flesh from the bone or meat. And then he offered the prayer when he did not perform ablution. And he did not touch water. Do you see it, Dr. Sabil Potato? So why you are lying to us, saying to us, the prophet said, the prophet said, the prophet said, when the prophet is dirty, according to you, to stop corona, the simple rule is to wash your hands. You're a prophet, and not only that, you are the one who said, the way of heaven is a prayer and a purity. And here we go, you're a prophet, he is not washing hands, and he is not doing a pollution, which means he is not being a pure. He did not even touch the water. Are you going to say to me, this is uh, the da'if? No, you cannot. A second ago, you told the guy, this is hadith from Muslim, so you accept Muslim, and this is sahih Muslim. Hmm? So look at those liars. They give you a speech about washing their hands, and their best clean man, supposedly he is the last one to wash his hands. Not only he don't wash his hand, I mean, this guy, he just ate meat. And not only that, he did not perform a pollution to go to pray, but he told the Muslim, you have to do that. So him, he do the, he doesn't do that. So look how they lie. They say the prophet says, wash your hands, but the prophet don't wash his hands. Let us see if I can find different hadith, because there's tons of them. I mean, just to refresh your memory, let me first uh, pause this link for you guys. Uh, always, if you want to have a link, I, I like I, I, or, or something I show, in the screen and did not post it you can just search for the same words actually here we go the, the admin is posting thank you first okay that's good let us see another hadith i will try to find it in english first let us see i don't know if i can find it in english english ah uh, we found it in english hold on me uh, no, this is not the one. no. This this is not the one we want. Yeah, this is not the one. No, look like we cannot find it in this one English. Um, let us see if we can find this one. <clears throat> Oh boy. Oh boy. Allah Messenger S A W F M short wave long wave F M A M used to sleep in the state of sexual impurity without touching water. Do you see it? Who said that? Aisha. Oh uh oh. <laughs> Another hadith. Ibn Abbas narrated narrated that it is in the authority of Maimuna, another Muhammad, he has tons of women he stepped with. So all of them, they are first-hand 
expert. They saw Muhammad naked, they knew what he do. Uh, the apostle was given a towel, but he did not rub his body with it. But he did not like this, this with water. I eat, he took it off. <laughs> Allah Messenger would sleep when he is junub, which means he after having sex, he is still an inipure, he is najis, filthy, and without touching water, performing ghusl. This is a turmudi, a turmudi. This is a nasai. Narrated by Ibn Abbas that the Prophet. Performed ghusl, what uh, clothes was brought to him? Let us see. Uh, uh, this is not the one we are looking for. Okay, hold on. Uh, so he go to sleep. Uh, this one, they will say to you, is daif. So we have to show them the one is a strong. Already we showed you a strong one, but this is daif, brother. <laughs> The Prophet, he go to bed and he sleep and he is filthy najis. And he clean. Uh, <clears throat> this one is Da'if too. Hold on. Because you know, they will say it's Da'if. Ah, this is Sahih Muslim. They cannot say this is Da'if. See, this is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 3, 5, 4. Uh, this is the different one. This is Sahih. This is Sahih, brother. Uh, it narrated by Umm Salama, another, another woman he slept with, that the message of Allah uh, at meet for, from a shoulder. I think you want to say eight, eight what? Hold on, I see the Arabic. Uh, yeah, uh, he ate. This is a stupid uh, error. In the, he ate meat. And then Bilal come to him and he went out to pray. He did not touch the water. So always Muhammad, he get out after eating or sex without touching water. Uh, let us see. Another hadith. And this is Sahih. The message of Allah, he sleep while he is sexual, the field, without touching water. Abu Dawood has said blah, 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 blah. Okay, say this is a Sahih. Huh. Sahih. So those people, they are giving us example about Muhammad saying, wash your hands. But the fact Muhammad, as you see, he don't wash his hand, not before eating, not after eating, and not before sex and not after sex. Actually, some hadith says that sometime Muhammad, he sleep with all his wives and he would do one wash. All the women, imagine how filthy he is. All the women. So those people, when they try to fool you, speaking about Islamic hygiene, Muhammad is extremely filthy. Imagine yourself, you are a woman and you have a husband, God forbid, who have 13 wives. Hmm? And then he don't wash, sleeping with one after one. Let us see the hadith about that to confirm what we are saying. It was narrated from Anas ibn Malik that the Messenger of Allah, PBUH, uh, calcium, magnesium, went around all his wives and with only one performed ghusl. Went around, this is not a really good translation, it's about having sex with them. Hmm? Read carefully. You see the trans. I mean the same hadith. Look, look how the Muslim they hide the story. In the the one before it, they did not say intercourse. It says uh, go around. The second, the one after it, depending in the translate translator how honest he is. He used to have intercourse with his wives one after one with a single bathing, which means after he finished at the end, he do a bath. So if one of them she have corona. The rest would have corona. If one of them she have AIDS, the rest would have AIDS. If one of them she have sexual disease, the rest would have sexual disease. Whatever you name it. 
And yet those liars in their videos, they say to us, the prophet, he says, wash your hands. But as you see, he don't wash his hands. What else? This is modern science. We know this. Yeah. According to the germ theory of infection developed in 1909, uh -huh. this is the recommendation that the best way to prevent the spread of germs from human to human, obviously, we have to cover ourselves and we have... Okay, hold on, hold on. Did he say cover yourself? Later, they will say to you, maybe, I'm not sure, I did not see the whole video, uh, uh, that the Prophet said, uh, cover your, your, your mouth. Uh, Muhammad, he said that because he, he told the Muslims, Shaitan will jump inside your mouth and he will laugh at you. Uh, let us see. Uh, <laughs> because I'm sure he will say to you, cover your mouth. The Prophet, he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Prophet said, when you, you sneeze, cover your mouth. I saw an article about it, by the way, and they are saying, look what the prophet, he is saying, cover your mouth. Uh, here we go. But look at the fabrication. For them, they claim that this is because of hygiene. When Muhammad saying that shaitan, the reason for that, read carefully. The messenger of Allah said that the sneeze is from Allah. Look at this madness. With Allah, if, if you sneeze, Allah will spread corona. Those idiots, they are telling us how to fight Corona, Quran, Corona. And yet, their prophet saying that sneezing is from Allah. Actually, the whole idea of wearing a mask, that you will not transform your saliva by sneezing to others. But Muhammad saying, no. Sneezing is from Allah. And yawning is, yawning is from shaitan. Do you see how they flip the truth upside down? Do you, do you see it? Because I'm sure now he will say to you, the prophet, he says, cover your mouth. Let us see if he will say that. To make sure we constantly wash our hands. Mm. So this is what Islam says. Mm -hmm. And these are all coming from the Quran, which is the word of Allah, or from the sayings of Muhammad, peace be upon him. That right after we wake up from the sleep, we just don't want to go to the internet and start working. This is from the Quran? The Quran says that? Oh, okay. Not even praying. Even before praying, mm -hmm. we are supposed to go and wash our hands. We are supposed to. Where this is coming from? From the Quran, the Hadith. Okay, can you show us? So look at this. Hmm. CDC in the 21st century, hmm. Islam, Muhammad, peace be upon him, way back in the 7th century. We just showed you, Muhammad, he go even have sex with all his wives without washing. He don't even wash his penis. We show you that your prophet, he never touched the water with his hand even after eating and before eating. So what are you talking about? And not only that, your prophet encouraging Muslim to sneeze, saying that sneezing from Allah. What else? Right, Alhamdulillah. The number two recommendation to prevent diseases mm -hmm. or the infection or the coronavirus mm -hmm. is the lockdown, right? Stay at home. Lockdown. Ah, lockdown. Okay. They will say to you that the prophet says if you, there is a, a epidemic, don't enter there and don't leave there. But Muhammad, he said that disease, they don't spread by from person to person. Let us show you how Muhammad, the idiot, how he can destroy mankind if they follow his teaching. Is that your prophet saying that diseases don't spread? Muslim transmitted the same hadith in the authority of Ibn Abbas, the Messenger of Allah, forbidden it and had additional phrase of every word. Uh, no, no, this is not the one. Uh, here we go. This is the one. The Messenger of Allah they said, there is no infection and no evil omen, but there is nothing that may be a source of a trouble. 
then it could be in the house a house or a horse a woman your prophet don't believe in infection as you see there's no infection if somebody says to you there's infection Muhammad says this is a lie it's a lie Do you see it? And this is Sahih Muslim, so you don't say this is weak. There is no trans transitive disease and no divination, but good omen pleases me. It was said that was what was good omen, he said, uh, uh, sacred words. <laughs> So look at the madness and look at the stupidity. Muhammad, he told them that there is nothing is called transmitted the disease. It does not exist. It's not a true. For Allah, he made the one he wants sick. The Muslim believe in destiny. Allah, he made the one who you want to be sick, sick. And Allah, he want the one who would want him to be healthy, healthy. And transmitted disease does not exist. But this guy now will quote for us saying the following. So every single state, every single city, almost all the countries in the world, they are in a state of lockdown. You know, if you look at the history of uh, the infections, uh, initially in the Western countries, this is Europe, right? I'm just going to spend maybe two, three minutes on this. One of the biggest calamity in the history of humanity, it happened uh, in 1347 in Europe, known as the Black Death. This that, 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 that's false, that's false. You see the Muslims, when they quote for you numbers, because nobody counting the numbers in the Middle East. As an example right now, if you go and check in Egypt how many cases they have, they will tell you we have 20. If you go to, uh, to Iran, they will say we have 3,000. But everybody knows that hundreds of thousands are dying there. Those countries, they never share the truth and nobody even count their numbers and nobody accept their numbers. If we go right now, he will say to you that Europe was infected. This is true. But actually, in the Middle East, in Islamic countries, disaster hit extremely, including the city of Medina, which Muhammad, the false prophet, he promised that his God, Allah, said the city will never have a plague or transmitted disease. For simply, he belong, belong in, he don't believe in transmitted disease anyway. Look what he said. Uh, the hadith said, Mawutan uh, Dharian, let us see. Read carefully. They lie to say to you, we have history recording what happened in Europe because Europe is a very important location and nobody cares really what happened in the Middle East. But this is your Islamic books. Once I went to Medina where there was an outbreak of disease and people were dying rapidly. I was sitting with Omar and a funeral processing passed by. The people praised the disease, Omar said, it was being a firm paradise. Then another funeral passing by. Look how many funeral, one after one, one after one, one after one after one. People are dying left and right. And those liars, they say to us, oh, in Europe, in Europe, because the European are not following Prophet Muhammad, they were dying. You know, you idiot. Until now, the population of Saudi Arabia is not even 20 million, including the foreign employees. What happened to them? Where, they are, where are they? Why the number of the population of Saudi Arabia? It's in, almost in the size of Europe. One million kilometer. Where is the population? The answer is there. Either by diseases or by war, for the Muslims cannot live in peace and they kill each other as usual. Now, let us get the crap. I'm not going to uh, play the rest of his video. As long as he speak about washing, let me move a little bit where he speak about washing so we can, I mean, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I want to see the advice, the advice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got you busted in this one. Your prophet don't believe in, in, uh, in such a thing. Go a trillion grams and okay. 100,000 species of bacteria and fungus or what? Or anything else, any various types of bacteria. From the hair, from the top of our head, 
all the way to the big toe and the nails, right, of the big toe. We are teeming with bacteria. I mean, not to scare anybody, that's how it is. Every single animal, every single tree, every single rock, rock, for example, the whole earth, and yes, the human bodies. This is the way the creator has made it. But not every bacteria is a bad bacteria, right? Mm -hmm. Many of them are bacteria which are beneficial to us. There are mm -hmm. many which are living inside our gut. Mm. So these are all healthy bacteria, but mm. then they are also harmful bacteria. Where we can find so the bad bacteria? What is the solution? What is the preventive measure that what? Islam has given to us? Give us, tell us, please. So let's proceed really quickly. Then we want to take as many questions as possible from mm. our mm. our listeners, right? Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Now our hair itself, our head, our hair. You know, if we don't take care of our hair, hair loss can be you know infection and coarse or thin hair, stunt in hair growth. All of this happens. Mm -hmm. If we don't properly cleanse and or comb our hair, this is just a fact. Mm. Hair. Question, Dr. Sabil. Was your prophet infected with lies? Let us see the hadith and then we will know what was happening to the hair of the prophet. Because as we knew, that lice is a very harmful creatures who they transmit disease to you and in the same time they destroy your the skin of your head and you will lose your hair so let us see what muhammad was suffering from let us see how clean his hair was clean. let us see Uh, the hadith is the first one, but I'm trying to uh, search for the. Let us see. Let us read the first one. It's okay. Hmm. Read with me, brother. Yahya related to me from Malik, from Ishaq, from, 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 from Anas ibn Malik said, When the Messenger of Allah, may Allah I pray on him and salute him, grant him peace, uh, okay, went uh, to Qibla, visit Uzvit Umu Haram. So he visited this woman and she fed him. Umm Haram was the wife of Obada ibn Asamd. One, one day, or a summit, one day the Messenger of Allah, may Allah please with him, grant him peace. He called her, he called on her. She fed him and she sat down to delose his hair. To do what? To take the lies from your prophet hair, and you are telling us about how to keep our hair healthy, and you are saying that most of the bacteria is in the hair because we are not keeping our you know hair healthy. So what about a person who his head is full of lies? And by the way, not only Muhammad was full of lies; all the Muslims in the time of Muhammad they were full of lies. If I type this the word "qamil," which means lies. Here, you will see endless, endless hadith huh? about Muslims are infected with lies. Look, the lies is fading over their face. Do you see it? Do you see it? Hmm? All of this about lies. All of this. All of them, they are infected heavily with lice. That is telling us how clean they used to be. Actually, Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he targeted the Prophet with lies. Hmm? Look how many hadith. I can show you thousands of them. Look, all of those I can just scroll down. All of it is nothing but about lies. Have these lies troubled you? <laughs> Let me find you the hadith 
about Allah, he target the prophets by lies. But let me see if I can find it first in English. Uh, there's a hadith where a man he put his hand over Muhammad and Muhammad having a very tough fever corona and the lice is all over him let us see hmm. Yeah, it looked like we will not find it in English. Let us see. <clears throat> maybe, maybe this one. Let us see. I hope all of you will download this video and share it with your friends because those liars, they are trying to deceive as many as they can. And we have a duty. We have a duty to expose them. Here we go. Uh, Here we go. This is one of the hadith. This is Sahih. As you see, Sahih. They cannot say it's weak. And a man he entered Abu enter enter to Muhammad. And he have he placed his hands on him. It says here Abu Sa'id al Khadari reported that. He came to the Messenger of Allah and while he had a fever. So who is the one who have a fever? Muhammad. He had a covering cover him and he placed his hand on him and discovered that it was hot above the covering. Even the cover is so hot. Above the covering, imagine. Abu Sa'id explained how hot you are, your fever messenger of Allah like the guy like what you are so hot man he said we are like that the affliction is so hard on us but the reward is double for us he said messenger of Allah which people have greatest affliction he said Muhammad saying the prophets the prophets and then the righteous so Muhammad is not righteous the prophet are not righteous because if the prophet are righteous then you don't say the prophet and the righteous the prophet and the righteous one. One of them was tested by poverty. So the righteous are tested by poverty. In such an extent, he only find a rope to cover himself. And the other one, he was tested by fleas. This is the prophet. Until they killed him. Do you see it? In different hadith in Arabic, it says, we the Prophet Allah he increased the trouble on us and what is the trouble al -qaml. and the hadith in Arabic actually but as you see I cannot find it here uh, but it is here in the front of me I found it in Arabic It's the same actually, it's the same hadith, but here it says it clearly that we the Prophet, Allah, He increased our trouble. And one of the Prophet, one of us, the Prophet, He will be trouble with the, the fleas until the fleas killed Him. Here in the translation, they changed the, the, the translation. And I cannot find in English the same exact thing as you see. If I, if I, uh, if I translate to English, let us see if I can translate to English. Hold on. In the front of your eyes. You will see it says that the prophet are troubled with. Google saying translate from Swedish. What's Swedish? This is Swedish now for you. Stupid Google. Stupid Google. To choose another language. Okay. Arabic. Google figure out that uh, Arabic is a Swedish. Hmm. Yeah. And he is now translating Swedish to Arabic. What? I know what's happening. Choose another language. 
no translate to English man anyway like I mean it's uh, it's uh, mean English English where is the English okay English and let me switch translate and how we change this Swedish thing I don't know how in the world I, I am stuck with the Swedish why it says the Swedish choose translate to Swedish never translate to Swedish never translate the seed this page is not Swedish <laughs> okay finally <laughs> all right finally we got the correct language all right look what the Google translation said the man he put his hand in the prophet and he found him have a very high fever and the prophet said verily O prophet double us of our affliction double and double reward for the prophet even to the point that the prophet are killed by the affliction with lies do you see it do you see it this is a google translation so those idiots they are teaching us about hair loose it is because of bacteria if you don't have healthy hair because you have bacteria we are talking about lies your prophet is full of lies and yet they are giving us speeches about how to clean yourself from bacteria. There's healthy bacteria and bad bacteria. Let us move a little bit. See if you want to give us more advice. It's proper hygiene of Pro the head, of the hair, and proper combing and proper washing. Uh -huh. And obviously when we Muslims, uh, when we do the abolition five times a day, mm. we also cleanse our hair, right? We do. Mm. So not only mm. we are supposed to properly keep our hair nice and clean by combing mm -hmm. we're supposed to actually cleanse our hair at least yes when we do the must that's 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 a lie because whip, wh wiping your hand over your hair will not clean it now let me let me let me spank you and your ass you idiot let me use the word ass because you deserve it this is how your prophet he clean himself and this is how you muslims follow his steps you are a big fat liar and you have no dignity This is how Muhammad he clean himself and I challenge any Muslim to make a video and I challenge this filthy idiot liar to make a video to teach us how the Prophet was doing this Muhammad is having a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and as you see all of this is Sahih I passed by the Prophet of Allah. Is this hadith is weak? No, Sahih. And this is the hadith number, as you see in the screen. I passed by the Prophet when he was performing wudu. What wudu mean? Ablution. From the will of Bida. The will of Bida is not really a will. It's a, like a, it's a it's a it's a hole where it's called Bida, which means garbage. It's a Bida. And look what the guy said to him. Confirm what I'm saying. Are you? The Muslim guy was walking by. Hmm? Are you performing a pollution from it when garbage was thrown in it? And in fact, it doesn't say garbage. It says a netting. A netting. What is not a netting? Netting the stinky things. Which means not only garbage. Because garbage... They don't stink right away. You, you know what I mean? If you throw some, some food, it doesn't stink right away. It doesn't say in Arabic garbage. It says the stink. Here we go. The Arabic in the front of me. I change any Muslim to say it's a lie. And nothing. So he asked him, you are doing this? And based on the Muslim translation, Muhammad is taking a shower literally with garbage. In other hadith, they explain more how dirty this thing is. Look what it says. People ask Messenger of Allah, can we perform ablution out of the will of Buddha, which is will in two, which menstrual clothes and dead dogs and stinky things were thrown in? He replied, water is pure and nothing make it any pure. So you see it? And this is Sahih. So this liar, he is teaching you hygiene of Islam. Please call us, ask him. I wish I know that this program when it was live, so we will call him.
I will be happy to call him the coward, the liar. This is how your prophet he take hygiene seriously. And we are talking about how because the Muslim they might say to you it's a well of water the water is running this is not running water this is why they are throwing garbage this is a water coming from outside this is sewage water let's say water come out from the houses go to a lower spot in this in the town and that is Rubida. it is not a well where people take water from it and remember this is Mecca then you know this is the desert they will never throw garbage in a good water which they can drink the water issue there is a serious serious issue nobody will misuse the water because they are in the desert people used to go and have war over a spring of water if there's somebody have a water or well of water so this is at the garbage place where garbage water come in and here you will see even the muslim they measure it for us and i'm very thankful for them because muslim can say oh it was big oh it was in the high size of swimming pool look how big it is and this is sahih Hadith Abu Dawood Abu Dawood Hadith number 67 I measured the breadth of the well of Bida which with my sheet this is how easy his, his uh, you know his, his own clothing I stretch over it I then measure it with the hand it measured 60 cubit in a breath and I, then I asked the man who opened the door in the garden. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a person who is there, you know. He said, oh, what about, he asked him about the condition of this well. Does it change from the original as it used to be in the past? He said, no. And he said, I saw the color of the water of this well had it changed. It's a bad water. So it's a small jacuzzi, little tiny jacuzzi, and it's full of what? The same page it says to us. I heard that Allah, uh, the, the people of the Prophet, water is brought for you from the well of Bida, which dead dogs and menstrual clothes, extra, an experiment of people are thrown in. The messenger said, water, verily, verily, water is pure, nothing make it impure. This is the one you are asking me to follow so we can fight coronavirus. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Sabil? A man who is showering with dead dogs. A man who don't wash after sex or before sex. A man who don't wash his hand before he eat and after he eat. Actually, uh, Muhammad, he used to go and do shit, excuse my language, and yet he don't wash. Let us see if we can find some hadith. We cannot find this one here. Let us see. But I can search the hadith in Arabic, and I can find it, no problem. Maybe in English we will not find it here, no problem, let us see. All right. Actually, I have the hate in the front of me, but I want, uh, this is Google page. You cannot translate using Google, uh, in Google page. Well, look, I found the hadith in the CIA website. <coughs> let us not to go to the CIA because this is BDF. Yeah, this is BDF uh, file in CIA, CIA website. Uh, well, hold on. Which hadith is that? Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. Look what I found, Muslims. انتهينا إلى غدير فإذا فيه جيفة حمار فقال فكففنا عنه حتى انتهى إلينا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال إن الماء لا ينجسه شيء <تصفيق> What is that? 
they found the dead donkey in the water. So they stayed away. Dead donkey in the water. And then when the Prophet came, and this is hadith number 200898. The Muslim, they will say to you, this is from Sharhu ibn Majah. Hmm? This is Da'if, they will say to you. Let us see. Uh, I'm trying to find the hadith which I was looking for. I wasn't looking for the donkey one, by the way. It came in my way, but I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't looking for it really. <clears throat> um, let us see. Where is the hadith I'm looking for? Okay. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I think we found it. Let us see. It's in Arabic, but no problem. At least, you know, we can use Google Translation piece upon him. Hmm? this is the hadith and this is the website of what you know I have nothing to do with it this is the book and hadith raqam you will see in the front of you on the screen you see the, the number and then I will click click translate in English all right let us see what it says here. In Rasulullah ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad said, Tabarraza thumma kharaja fata'ima walam yamusul ma. The Prophet, he did his shit and then he went and he did not touch water. And this is Sahih. Translate to Google. No? I will translate. And then here it says, before we translate, that the prophet used to have to sleep and after having sex uh, uh, to what the, he did ablution and wudu uhul salata idha kana yakul okay yeah this is like she, she, this one here she is not talking about he uh, like he had uh, he had sex and then he did ablution but here it says that the prophet used to do his shit and he never Touch water. Let us translate to English. Maybe I need to go up so I can translate. You know, those they have like a script in the page. I translate to English. All right. Let us see what it says. He came out. You see, the translation here is funny. After he did his shit, is coming as uh, uh, come out, aftam what aftam, and he did not touch water, and he did not wash. Hmm? This is the prophet of Allah. And as you see, I'm just just going over. I mean. Uh, Muslim website, you see, this is Hadith portal. I went there and now it's translated into English translation. All right. Oh boy. How many things we need to show so a Muslim can see that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud? 
What kind of a prophet he do what he's doing? Jumping in the water have dead dogs, women are blood from period. Muhammad he said as an example that if a piece of your food fail into uh, the ground, grab it from the ground, wipe it with your hand, and eat it. Oh, okay. Let us see this one. Ah, we cannot find it in English. There's tons of hadith. We cannot find them in English. Uh, let us see. Another one. This one cannot be found in English too. Okay, let us see. Um, let us see this one you see this is the issue like you know uh, because Islam source all in Arabic uh, we cannot find this one too not be found Let us see the hadith about if the food fell down in the ground. And let us see how 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 that can be useful. And for sure the Muslim they will say to you this is not we don't accept this hadith. <coughs> But they cannot because this is in the authentic books. Allah Apostle is saying, The Satan is present with any one of you in anything he does. He present even when he eat food. So if any of you drop a mouthful, he should remove away anything filthy and on it and eat it. <laughs> and you are telling us about hygiene. Eat it. In different hadith Muhammad he said after you eat let you have to lick your fingers or let somebody lick it for you and for sure this is will fight corona very much and this is sahih do you see it the prophet said when you eat do not wipe your hand till you lick it or had it licked by somebody else. So if Sabil is in a restaurant and he finished eating, he don't eat with the fork. He should not eat with the, with the spoon. He should eat with his hands. And after he finished eating with his hand, he have to lick his fingers or he give his finger to his wife or to his slave so she can lick it. And actually in different hadith it says a slave. It says it clearly, slave. And you see, the most time they might say to you, oh, we don't agree with it. It says agreed upon. Do you see? It says agreed upon. Because anything is embarrassing, the most time they say we don't agree upon. Even in their stupid website, in their false translation, they say agreed upon. All Muslims agreed upon. And the brother, this is the best way to fight coronavirus. Isn't it obvious? What do you want more than this to fight coronavirus? So Muhammad don't believe that 
there is a there is a transmitted uh, diseases that's why he said actually there's a hadith hold on you know just to tell you how muhammad he think muhammad is, a, is an idiot uh once he saw a bunch of arab uh, like you know there is there is military and female tree so those Arab they knew they are not really that ignorant they knew that there is a military and female tree so what they do they take a branches from the military and they put it between the branches of the female tree so the pollen will go and may make the tree have a fruit what Muhammad he said to them he said no there is no such a thing let me see if I can find you the hadith <clears throat> no this is not true brother this is not a true there is no such a thing and you know Muhammad he knew what he's talking about I mean come on Muhammad if, if Muhammad is saying no it's mean no I mean take it or leave it um, let's see I hope I can find this hadith. I just remember it, so I will see if I can find it because this it's funny. So, so Muhammad told them, "Don't do that." He told those people, "Don't, uh, don't do like mix between the female, male and female because there's no need. There's no need for this." And then all those trees they had no fruit. Let me see if I can find it. Um, oh man yeah sometimes those hadith you, you might you will have difficulty I think to find but I like to find something I say it let us see let us see where we can find it hmm I'm just trying to remember the, you know, this this is how I memorize the hadith. I don't really memorize the numbers. It's impossible, you know. Uh, I memorize the, the the statements. So in order to get the the whole hadith, you have to get at least like let's say uh, five six words in line together perfectly. I'm just trying to remember. Hmm. It's going to be. See, sometimes, like you know, you uh, you you remember. I mean, you remember it, but I'm sure after I finish broadcast, it's going it's going to come to my head. But I will try. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I can't. I can't remember the exact uh, exact sentence. Let me see. Maybe I I just uh, grab something in my my memory. I just uh, grab a few words from the hadith. Maybe that will work. Just give me a minute. If I don't find it, we will skip it.
All right, I think we found it. Let us see. Um, all right. See, I'm getting old. Yeah, I cannot find it in English too. But I found the hadith actually. Uh, let me uh, let me show you the. Uh, all right, uh, I will I will put it in the screen. Give me a second, and I will translate to English. I hope you can translate this page. All right, so this is here. Let us put it on the screen. Finally, this is a hadith mentioned by Muhammad, and this is here is about actually about a, a guy he is asking question here uh, about that the Prophet said there is no disease transmitted tra transmitted from person to person is not exist. That is not true. So the person is asking why the prophet he said that, but this is not. I mean, obviously it's not true, you know. And here the Muslims trying to explain. He says the prophet he say things sometimes is not from Allah. It's his own uh, guessing, his own guessing. This is not from Allah. <laughs> and he said he gave an example. He said actually here, he says that as an example, once he saw. Uh, uh, a bunch of people they are mixing between uh, the male tree and the female tree and he said to them Ma ara law taraktumu he said to them oh, you do not need to do that just leave it no bad will happen which means they, still they will have their fruits so they they, they follow his advice they, they left it and the fruit there's no fruit. The trees did not give a fruit. If we make the translate to English, I don't think English would be able to translate such a language. But you will see here. So he, he you know, he, he, he saw them doing mixing the trees together, palm trees. And he said to them to do pollution rotation and he said what is this they told him that this is very uh, like you know to to make them have a fruit he said i don't see any harmful without if, if, if you don't do that leave it you said even in google translation which is silly translation even there it's coming clear so muhammad obviously is a scumbag he claimed that he is earning knowledge from god and then when he say things it doesn't happen it doesn't it's not true the muslim they say oh this is a uh, uh, you know the prophet at the end of the day is a human so it so when he is a human when he's God don't he knew that he should not open his mouth unless he knew what he's talking about here we go he advised them not to do that don't mix the pollen of the male with the with the with the, with the flowers of the females there is no need for that so they left the trees without doing it because the prophet said there's no need and then all the trees came without fruits And the same what happened to Muhammad when he said that water is always pure, nothing make it impure. Is it true that the water is always pure? Absolutely false. Who in the world will believe in such a garbage? The Muslim, they will say to you, the Prophet, he ordered us to cover our mouth. And this is because of hygiene to spread viruses from spread but muhammad he gave different reason for that which is nothing but fairy tales that the reason you have to cover your mouth he said that is sneezing from allah and all of us we knew that corona will spread by sneezing like your number one fear will be if you go in an elevator or a car and somebody have corona start sneezing but muhammad claiming that the sneezing is good it is from allah and allah he loved those who sneeze Read carefully. And indeed Allah loved the sneeze and he disliked the yawn. 
So when a man says, ah, ah, when he yawn, indeed, shaitan love from inside his opening. And look, the Muslims, let me search, hold on, let me give, give me a second, just to show you the, 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 the false articles Muslim they made about their prophet. I was searching Google, let me try this. What, the prophet order, prophet Muhammad order, let's see, prophet, just to show you how, how, they, how they try to fool you. Muhammad order to cover the mouth. I just search for that in Google. I will I will see what I will get. Hmm. Uh, yeah, look what I found in this articles. Hmm. Look at this, guys. Let me show you. Personal hygiene. The website is called About Islam. And they have a picture for you of a guy sneezing. Do you see it? Okay. The hygiene of the Prophet. Cough and sneezing. Hmm. Um. When we examine the practice of the Prophet, we can easily discover Islamic attitude to sneezing okay how we can examine that let us go to two where is the reference to it oh, doesn't move hand washing we show you that uh, dental hygiene yeah uh, this is two where where is where is the sneezing thing yeah. you see i mean dental hygiene the prophet teach you dental hygiene a steak will go from a mouth to a mouth to a mouth this is dental hygiene uh hand washing we know we can when when coughing and sneezing or yawning a muslim cover his mouth and his nose with his hand with, with what his his or, or, or a tissue but you see how they lie to you he didn't tell you why when you read this you will say okay it's time to teach that you cover your hand you cover your mouth and this is very healthy teaching the prophet how he knew that disease can transfer tra transform from a person to a person the fact sneezing as we showed you is from Allah is not to translate it is not going to transmit a disease Allah will not let the disease transmit because he is the one who made you sneezing and he made the Muslim sneeze as we showed you in the hadith do you see it so they quote for you uh, you know like there, I saw an article before, and I made a video about it, actually, if you remember. They made a big article about the Prophet of Allah, how he advised Muslims to put their hand and cover their mouth when they are yawning or sneezing. The fact, no. The fact, no. The Prophet, he ordered you, supposedly, the false Prophet, to cover your mouth when you are yawning only, not when you are sneezing. Because shaitan only enter your mouth when you are yawning. And in fact, sneezing will spread way more saliva from your mouth from yawning. So a Muslim is should not cover his mouth when he sneezes for Allah indeed love those love sneezing. Allah he loves sneeze. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He loves sneezing. Can a Muslim ask Muhammad why Allah he loves sneezing? How this is can be from God? And why you cover your hand when you do yawning only? Why? Because if you don't you put your hand, Shaitan he left from inside your opening. So you open your mouth, Shaitan will jump inside. Ha 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 I mean, what Shaitan is? I mean, what this guy is talking about? Muslim they believe that Shaitan can have sex with their wives. How he is so small, he sleep in your nose, he piss in your ears, and he jump inside your mouth. Yet he can have sex with your wife. I mean, if he can sleep in your nose and you don't feel him, how small his penis is? I mean, how small is he? Yet he can have sex with your wife. This is the madness of Muhammad. How Muhammad, he said, he tied shaitan to the column of the mosque. 
if he can go inside your mouth and you don't feel him so if you follow actually the hygiene of the prophet of Allah you will end dead by corona for Muhammad as you see he takes shower with dead dogs women of blood from period Muhammad himself is full of lies hmm? and Muhammad he said that the city of Medina no transmitted no disease will enter it and as you see Medina right after Muhammad death in the time of Omar tens of thousands was dying in Medina and hundreds of thousands were dying all over the Middle East including Syria and Iraq and uh, and uh, all this territory to the point even the prince of the Muslims Ibn Jarrah in Syria he died from the same disease this is how they try to fool you and lie to you in order to make you believe Islam come with something good Muhammad actually when he have sex after he finished sex he dry his hands on the wall have you ever heard of somebody dry his hands on the wall after sex Muhammad not only that he never have a problem when dogs come inside his mosque inside his holy mosque and they piss in the middle of the mosque and he never sprinkle water on it do you see it and this is Sahih this is Al-Bukhari read carefully my father said that during the lifetime of Allah Apostle dogs used to urinate and pass through the mosque come and go nevertheless they never used to sprinkle water on it not only that a man he entered the mosque and he pissed in the middle of the mosque but Muhammad did he said let him finish do you believe it and the funny Muhammad he claimed that dogs are dirty yet dogs go inside the mosque and they spray the whole mosque with their piss and then they don't even clean after it so what kind of mosque this mosque is If you remember there's a hadith says that the angel of Allah could not enter the house of Muhammad because there was a dead dog under his bed and the angel did not enter for a long time okay how a dead dog under your bed and you did not feel it Muhammad I mean how filthy the house of Muhammad to the point he did not notice that there's a dead dog in his house under his bed <coughs> <laughs> have you ever heard you see if little tiny bird die in your house your house will will, 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 will stink the whole house will stink how this how this man Muhammad he did not notice And Jibreel will not enter the house unless there is no dogs. So a dog entered the house and angels cannot enter the house. But yet dogs enter the house of Allah and they piss and Allah have no problem and his prophet have no problem. The Prophet says angels do not enter a house which there is dog or there is a picture. Actually Muhammad he claimed that if you eat uh, garlic or onion you are not welcome in his mosque. And you know in the time of Corona I advise all of you to eat those kind of vegetables. 
garlic. Uh, actually, I, I, I got uh, just yesterday something called horseradish. I don't know if you know it. It's very healthy, very useful for your immune system. But Muhammad, he have different idea. Allah get offended by the garlic, onion, and all those very healthy, as you see. All those healthy plants, which is very, very good for your immune system. It's natural antibiotic. If you eat any of them, Allah will be upset from you. Angels will be upset from you. It's an offense against God. Eating garlic, eating onion, or any other plant from the same family, as you see, he mentioned to you actually, numbers. The one who eat, if you eat leek, why if I eat leek, Allah will be offended. Hmm? Why Allah will be offended if I eat from those plants? He who eat from this plant, actually he didn't say plant, he said tree. Tree, the garlic is a tree. Plant, let him not to, 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 not to hurt us in our mosque. He don't enter the mosque. So if a Muslim, he go to the mosque five times a day, he will never eat garlic all his life. He will never eat onion all his life. Is that a healthy advice? Even don't get it close to us and don't eat with us and don't sit with us and don't pray with us. Don't even get near me. Do you see? And here he is counting for you. He said garlic and then he said garlic, onion and leek and let him not to approach our most so my friend those people they are a bunch of liars they have no dignity and they are trying to fool you islam not only it's a violent cult disgusting cult teaching you to beat your wife abuse the children have sex with the children teaching you to hate others kill them fight them wherever you find them teaching you that christians and non muslims and non-muslims are not just as the quran says that they are not allowed to enter the city of Mecca and Medina. That's why until now, until now in the year 2020, there are signs in the highway. It says Muslims only. Actually, let me show you the pictures so people will not say I'm making things up. Muslims only. And I saw some articles from CNN making fun of those who claim that Muslims believe in Muslim only. Saying there's no such a thing. Never trust those false media. They are a bunch of scumbag liars. The pictures is they are taken by Muslims. And anyone who works in Saudi Arabia can see it. Muslim only. Do you see it? All those signs and CNN did not see them. For sure they will not see them. But if you are a Christian and you make such a sign, CNN will be all over you. If there is somebody, he is a child molester and he was a priest, CNN will talk about him 24 hours, 7 days a week. But if he's a Muslim Imam, they never talk. I never heard of CNN talking about a Muslim Imam on TV who is a child molester. But if you go and search in Google right now, you will find tons of thousands of them, starting from their prophet. Muslim only highway. And they say to you, this is not true. And this is in the Quran. Because the Quran says to them, you will not allow them to enter those areas for non-Muslims are filthy dirty. Imagine if we have a sign in the highway in New York, it says a Christian only, Jewish only, Muslim only. <laughs> what a garbage cult. The Muslim, they will make fun of, oh my, oh my Allah. Look how racist they are, brother. Allahu Akbar, brother. This is your religion. 
This is your garbage. And this is your lies. And here we got you busted. I want to say thank you guys for being here. Please don't forget to download the video. This video will be taken down a few hours from now. I will give you a chance just to download it. And those who download the video first, I will try to download the video in high resolution so I can post it in my Patreon for you. So people, they can uh, join there. And I want to say thank you for all of you being here. I will try to be on air tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow I will we'll try to be in the morning maybe and uh, in the Arabian Prophet until I see you uh, soon. God is willing, if I can. Uh, if we wake up in the morning and we are healthy, and may the Lord bless you all, keep you in good health and wealth. But please don't practice the hygiene of the Prophet. Don't take shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage. Don't. Don't grab a piece of food failure from your mouth in the ground in the street and eat it. Don't. Don't let somebody lick your fingers. Don't. Be careful not to have lies like the prophet in his head. Don't. The prophet even, I forgot to mention this, the prophet he used to clean his ass with the three rocks. Don't do that. Don't. And don't, after you finish having sex, don't dry your hands as the prophet do in your wall. Otherwise, we will have Picasso image in your... I mean, you can imagine what we have in the in the bedroom of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a guy? He dry his hands in the wall. In the wall. Man, oh man. And they say to us, Brother, the best advice is the Prophet advice to fight Corona. The biggest corona is Muhammad himself, and we are here to expose his lies. If you notice, if you calculate the number of those who die in corona, and those who die in the name of Allah just in the last month, you will find that corona did not kill, not even 1% of the number of those who have been killed in the name of Allah. So which one is more dangerous? Quran is the biggest corona. And by the way, the funny, the Muslims, they say that the Quran have a miracle of number 19. Is it true? Okay, Quran 19. Here we go. Have fun. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Please don't forget to download the video. Until we see you tomorrow, God is willing, if I can, in the morning, uh, in the Arabian Prophet, enter them. Uh, good day, good night, and God bless. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And this is how we get them busted. Take care.